Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to the channel. And today I will be teaching you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So you wanna have it mixed up. As you see, I'm gonna do it most of the time. It's gonna be already mixed up for you. So, and you wanna get the white cross on the top. You want the white cross, okay? So you wanna flip the cube over. Look for a white edge piece. And edge pieces are the pieces with two colors between corner pieces, which have three colors. So I see this one, orange and white. I move it so the orange edge piece is matching up with the center piece, and I rotate it up. And I see another. I see another edge piece which is not matching with its color. I just rotate it to the bottom. I rotate it to where it's matching up with the green. Okay, and then I just rotate it up, and I have another one. And you keep doing that until you have a full white cross. Ooh, I found one. And it's already matched up with this edge piece. Rotate it up. And then if, if it's right here like that, you see this situation? You move it down. It's matching with the blue. But you don't move this like that. You don't move it up. Yeah. You have to put the orange one back. And then you move the blue one back up. Next step is that... And you have your white cross. The next step is you want to solve the whole white side and have the first layer matching. So you have to find a corner which is up here on the other side. And I found one green, red, and white. I move it so it's in the middle of those two center pieces because those are the center pieces you want to be between. I do it and now you do four algorithms like this. And one more. And you may also need to do it with your left hand. Okay? And first you want to practice those so they're because they're really useful in the art of cubing. And you move this over here. And then you do the left algorithm because it's gonna happen in one step. The corner is gonna go in, in one step. Done. Next, I find a blue and red one. I line it up between the blue and red center pieces. I do the left algorithm. And you can also call this a reset algorithm. And I found a blue and orange one. And I do the right reset algorithm. And as you can see, I have my whole white side solved. And I have my whole um first layer solved as well now you look for an edge piece on the top of the cube for example i find blue and red and then that blue and red goes over here it goes into the um blue and red slot which is already taken up by green and yellow edge piece and i want that edge piece to go out of here and the blue and red to go in so i move it across from the red and it'll do the right reset algorithm. Okay, and then after that, as you can see, I pulled the corner, which was previously over here. And now you want to put it back. And do the left reset algorithm. And after that, I found another one, green and red. I, I, I line it up so it's across from green. I do the right reset and pull the corner out. And I put it back in by using the left reset algorithm and the edge piece goes in. But a few times, you're going to see it's like this. You're going to see it has green and orange inside and they need to be flipped. So all you have to do is take the corner out, put it back in, and, they're, and they went out, right? Now you do the same steps. Line up the orange exactly across from, line up the orange exactly across from orange. Line up the edge piece, and then you do right reset algorithm, pull the corner out, and you do left reset algorithm, put it back in. And as you can see, I have the second layer solved as well. It's really simple. Next, you're going to solve the yellow cross. So then, as you can see, I have an L, but most of the times you might start off with the dot in the center, and you want to do this algorithm. You get the front side. You do that, up, 
And then as you can see, I end up with a horizontal line and I do it again. I have the full yellow cross. I, have, I try to get all the edge pieces aligned, but on, with the center pieces and all I have is blue and green. So what you do here in this situation is you do this, right, up, right inverted, up, right, up twice, right inverted. And then as you can see, I rotate it to the, I rotate the red and do a center piece and I have green there too, but I don't have blue and orange. So you want, you want the red and green to be on the rightmost side of the cube. Okay. And then you do, um, you do the same algorithm I did before, right? Up, right, up, right, up twice, right inverted. And then you just rotate it and all the center pieces are matching. Next, you want to get all the corner pieces to be in the right spot. For example, I found one green, orange, and yellow, but they don't have to be like this. They could also be where, for example, if this was green, orange, yellow, and the yellow was over here, that could, that's also okay because it's going to go, it's going to go like, it's going to become this at the in the last step so i get i make sure this green is facing front towards me and then i do these algorithms so i do up right then i do up inverted left then i put then i do up and i have the right and the right corner piece back in and i put it down and i do the left one too and i put it down now all my corner pieces, corner pieces are on the right spot, but sometimes it doesn't happen on the first try, like on on the first time doing it. So you might have to do it again. Like you might have to do the step again. So now, after you get all of the corner pieces in the right spot, you flip the whole cube over. This is the most important step. Then, what you want to do is find a corner that's not in the right spot. And then you want the blue to be up here, and the orange to be there, and the yellow to be here. So what you do is you do the, you do the right reset algorithm until this corner is in the right spot. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. I have it in the right spot. Now, I look for another corner that's not aligned. Ooh, I found this one. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, three. One, three, four. Yeah, I keep doing the right reset algorithm until my whole cube is solved. Like... Yeah, the corner's in the right spot. As you can see, you have your cube solved. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please like and subscribe. Peace!